Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm starting another vlog even though I have a ton to edit and I'm the worst with editing and I'm so sorry about it. It's one of those things that keeps me up at night but I for some reason cannot I've literally had like informal interviews with potential editors and I just like, I don't know, the thought of giving people my vlog footage just feels so like personal and intimate. Maybe I can catch up this week. <laughs> I feel like I say that every vlog, but hi, I'm at the new-ish Trader Joe's in Providence, Rhode Island. I am gonna do some grocery shopping. It, The weather this week is ridiculous. I'm so excited, it's supposed to be 86 on Friday. Today it's like 65. My car says 64. Tomorrow 72. Wednesday 70. Thursday 80. Friday 85. Saturday 75. We're going to Trader Joe's and I'm so excited. I really hope they have this like pesto wrap that has like zucchini or something in it. I don't know. It might have just been a summer thing but like maybe they'll have it. I'm obviously going to give you a Trader Joe's haul when we get home. Honestly I might even end up filming two vlogs this week because I kind of want to do some tie-dye. Thursday into Friday. I think that could be fun to do some outdoor tie-dyeing and do a nice big batch because I still have a batch of shirts that I want to list on my merch website but I had been like waiting to list them because I just wanted to do another batch or two so that I had more not just like a dozen shirts to list so it'll be fun to do that and finally do some more outdoor tie-dyeing. I have an energy drink. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Let's go to Trader Joe's! that's good for like <clears throat> a couple months. Like a lot of the dips. Oh shit, I got my B-roll notification five minutes ago. I hate not posting on time. I almost don't want to post at all when I don't post on time. Not from Trader Joe's, but I bought this fresh like guacamole keeper. I thought it could be good for when I make just like breakfast avocado mixture. I could do like one or two avocados and then like have it in here. So I just scoop it on there in the morning. I got liquid death from Amazon and then paper towels because you know, I know I'm buying the name brand, The Bounty. It was like $16 for a six pack. $3.99 for a three pack from Trader Joe's. And they don't like, I mean, I guess we'll see how the quality holds up, but I feel like that's fine for a paper towel. So Trader Joe's might have to be my new paper towel place. The Trader Joe's like cashiers are so thoughtful of how they pack things. They put like all the frozen stuff together, which is cool. But I got the Mandarin orange chicken as well as Kung Pao tempura cauliflower that I'm very excited to try. I got the sweet potato gnocchi. I, I feel like I may have not loved it last time. However, I could definitely add like my own extra seasonings and sauces to make it better. So I'm gonna do that. Ooh, the garlic spread may be good in this. I think last time I added the unexpected cheddar, like shredded cheese. And then I got two things of veggie fried rice. I love the veggie fried rice because it has edamame in it. However, the chicken one has egg in it, which I understand why the veggie one doesn't because that's a lot of vegans, I'm sure, get this. Love the edamame. And then I just got some like white corn for if I'm gonna make like my Mexican chicken crock pot thing or even some dip or something. So let me put these in the freezer. Wait, there's definitely more frozen stuff. At least one more thing because I got the, uh, how do you pronounce it? Is it cacio e pepe? I don't know if that's how you say it, but <laughs> I got the gnocchi that's that flavor too. All right, do you want me to tip these over so you can play in the bags? I love, like, if we don't use the reusable bags, which I should have bought. I literally had some in my car, now that I say this out loud. I literally had some in my car, but when we get home, all the brown paper bags, I like toss them onto their sides and just like throw them around the kitchen and let them like run in and out of them for a little bit. Here's my receipts. I spent $294.58. The most expensive things, like I got a beef teriyaki, like marinated thing that I'm gonna make stir fry with. I got this pesto marinated chicken breast. And those are the only two things that were double digits. The pesto chicken breast was $12.41 and the teriyaki beef was $21.41. And then I bought chicken breasts too, but maybe those were cheaper? Oh yeah, the chicken breasts were, oh wait, no, I got chicken tenders and they were 9.85. 
everything else it was just a lot of adding up of like stuff between two and six dollars i had quite a few people suggest the samosas i got both the chicken and the vegetable ones to try and then i also have the quinoa cowboy veggie burgers which i love i feel like when i go through a veggie burger phase that's how you know it's basically summer <laughs> i've been on a really big jimmy dean breakfast sandwich kick lately all right, I have the samosas over here. We'll put the veggie. Oh yeah, perfect. Wait, will that stay up or no? Oh yes, nice. Oh, I don't like that it falls though. Um, I'll put it here on the side. I just, I feel like I like things being visible, you know? Maybe I'll put the gnocchi up here too. And then I'll put the veggie fried rice over here too. And then I got the chicken, cauliflower, and the other stuff. What do I have? Toaster strudels, <laughs> taquitos, sausage links. Oh, my other veggie burgers are in here too. I got the, I think, what are they called? I got the Dr. Prager's uh, California veggie burgers. Those are also really good. French fries, and then some frozen chicken pot pies and my breakfast sandwiches. Let me get like the meats into the fridge now. Cause like I said, I got the um, chicken breast tenders. I have like one of these little bins that I usually put all my raw meats in. My fridge could definitely use a little tidying. I do recommend getting a little thermometer to put in your fridge, like a little digital one. I feel like that's been really helpful ever since we had the issue with just our like old fridge was freezing stuff <laughs> when it was kind of working. And then obviously like as you that all watched vlogmas know my fridge just died and i lost everything in my fridge i feel like i just said the word fridge so many times i feel like i did some research and by research i mean i googled and listened to the very top thing at the top of the google search and your ideal fridge temperature is 37 degrees so i try to keep it around there things are going great so far we don't have frozen vegetables anymore which is amazing but let's start with all the fridge stuff so i can put it in here so i got these two little sparkling beverages Beverages. We have a ginger lemon flavored probiotic sparkling beverage. I love lemon ginger. I had a, uh, it was a ginger turmeric lemonade that I had at a press juicery in Boston. That was amazing. So I'm hoping I like this. And then I got a tangerine probiotic sparkling beverage. So maybe if they're cold enough, I'll have one tonight. Oh, I think they fit in my little Yeti pan too. I also got a bunch of the little wellness shots. I got like, th well, I got three of them. That's a bunch, right? I feel like a couple is two, a few is like three, maybe four, and then a bunch is probably like five or more. So I guess I got a few. Oh wait, I wanna put I wanna put the meats away. Let me show you the two things that I got first before I show you those. I just keep getting distracted because I'm so excited. I hadn't been to Trader Joe's in so long. So this is the pesto chicken. Honestly, I need to buy a freaking grill. How do I not own a grill? And then beef skirt steak, sesame teriyaki. I'm thinking I might do a stir fry tonight. I'll show you some of the other stuff that I bought that I wanna use in a stir fry. I got this blueberry lavender beverage. I thought this would be nice for just like a black tea. Even like a hot black tea, th froth up some of this and throw it in there. I'm excited to try it. Blueberry lavender almond beverage. I got regular eggs. I think I have like two left in my little six pack here. And I've just been craving breakfast sandwiches lately. And then, oh, something else that I thought would be good to make like, it says good for omelets. So I was thinking make like, I love scrambling my eggs and adding in like some sort of vegetables or whatever. And then just making like a little egg patty-ish out of that. And then putting it on like a bagel or whatever. Oh, this would be so good for breakfast burritos too. But it has cauliflower, zucchini, bell peppers, fire roasted corn, celery, and yellow onion. I got some grapes. This is probably the most full my fridge is ever gonna have been. Sourdough bread, which I highly recommend keeping, especially sourdough bread in the fridge. I got some weird comments. You're not supposed to put bread in the fridge. What are you doing? Like, that's ridiculous. But like, I don't know, maybe it just depends on where you live. Like if you live in a dry climate, it doesn't matter as much. I don't know. But especially, like I said, with sourdough bread, it would be molding before the expiration date was even hitting. So putting it in the fridge just has been helping to prevent that. And I feel like it just keeps my bread so much fresher for longer. So I'm gonna continue doing it. One of the heat and serve uh, chicken breasts. I like using this for like lunch sandwiches or salads. Um, obviously it's good for a quick dinner as well, but I really like it on that kind of stuff. I love dips. I love spreads. I love dips. I love sauces. This is a new one for me. It's everything and the elote Greek style yogurt dip. 
It's with corn, elote seasoning, and grated cheese. I got the vegan buffalo dip, which I know and love. I got the creamy cauliflower jalapeno dip. Very interested to try this. So this one is good till May 25th. Obviously, once you open them, you kind of want to consume them within like a week or two, I would think. But this one's good till May 22nd. This one, June 1st. I've never tried the garlic spread, but I did a little story on my Instagram account asking people what I should get from Trader Joe's. I just love watching Trader Joe's hauls and getting wrecks from everyone. So a couple people recommended that. Oh, I got uh, just whipped cream cheese because I picked up some bagels. Honestly, even when I have like an egg sandwich on the bagel, sometimes I like putting cream cheese on it still. And then I got the unexpected cheddar cheese spread. I also got the other two versions of that as well. Oh my gosh, so Brendan loves Honeycrisp apples. Let me show you, I got just like a normal apple. What's this one, a pink lady. I feel like this is just your standard size of apple. Look at the Honeycrisp ones. They're like almost double the size, they're ridiculous. Oh, I got Brendan half and half for his coffee. I got some brioche buns for my veggie burgers. I mean, honestly, I mainly picked this out because all of the like hamburger buns and stuff, they all have eight with them and this one only has four. So I just feel like I end up wasting the eight packs and I've tried, okay. Maybe there's like a certain way to microwave them or defrost them or whatever that I'm just not aware of. Maybe I should do some more research or something, but when I freeze hamburger buns and then try to defrost them for making veggie burgers, I, I feel like they're always stale. I don't know. Everything bagels. Honestly, I need to get a bagel cutter though because I love the Trader Joe's bagels so much. Um, I guess I'll put these in the fridge too. I love the Trader Joe's bagels, but they're not free cut. Oh, maybe I'll take a bite of this because I bought this to eat right now, but they did have the grilled pesto chicken wrap and it has, it's pesto seasoned chicken breast, ricotta and feta cheese, zucchini and sun-dried tomatoes with a pesto vinaigrette. The vinaigrette is so good. I'm gonna say I should have gotten two. Well, no, I <laughs> I did not need to get two of them. I have so much freaking food to eat for lunches and stuff. Ah. Oh no. Oh no! Ah! The vinaigrette, so it's very liquidy. It's delicious, but. Mmm. Tastes like summer. You know, you have to like move around to try to see like the reflection of the liquid. I can't find. Oh, there it is. Got some tomatoes. Got two blocks of the unexpected cheddar because they're good until November. And then I got the shredded unexpected and this is good till july 20th so i got the mighty c acerola acerola cherry i'm not sure how to say that i got the no joke ginger and then i got the organic pineapple probiotic okay next is a salad kit it is sesame crunch chopped salad it's got bok choy savoy cabbage red cabbage carrot sesame sticks cashews and nori seaweed flakes with a toasted sesame ginger vinaigrette. Got the baby zucchinis. I thought this would be good for the teriyaki stir fry. I got baby corns. I thought that would be great for the stir fry. Teeny tiny cucumbers, shredded carrots, good for the stir fry and for like salads. A thing of green beans, roasted cauliflower and cheese ravioli. This is good till June 6th. Some strawberries that honestly look phenomenal. I forgot I got the chocolate croissants. You like let them rise, I think like overnight. Allow uncovered croissants to sit at room temperature for nine hours. Huh. I also got a pasta salad for like a little lunch. Microgreens to throw on top of like avocado toast or into salads or whatever. Okay, I feel like I need to quickly run through everything else. Oh my gosh, wait. This has been all over social media. It's a tomato leaf scented candle. I feel like people either love it or hate it. One of my friends said they liked it at first, but then it was like a little bit too strong. We have a green pepper, a bunch of apples, one cosmic crisp, one pink lady, and then four of the honey crisps. An avocado, a lemon, a lime, two sweet potatoes, two pears, everything but the bagel seasoning. Honestly, when I have a bagel with cream cheese, I like putting more of this on top, even if it's already an everything bagel. I got the organic little mini cheese sandwich crackers. I got some organic brown rice cake thins. Oven baked cheese bites. It says they're good on soups. I don't know. I also got a jarred soup, which this could be good with. Garden vegetable. Basically Fritos scoops, the organic corn chip dippers, organic white corn tortilla chips, vodka sauce, 
organic, not, I don't know, I keep saying everything. <laughs> Half the stuff at Trader Joe's is organic, but it's on the label, so I keep saying it. But the non crackers, as well as pita bite crackers, the pinks and whites, shortbread cookies with a yogurt coating and sprinkles. And my sister had these, and they were really good. Chocolate chip cookie dunkers, but like, one half of them is also coated in like a melted chocolate and then is this the last thing i think so buffalo style seasoned almonds which i think i'm gonna try one right now mm, they smell good they don't taste like much i was expecting more of like a vinegary flavor i think there's a little bite to them but huh kind of disappointed like they're spicy but they have no flavor Interesting. All right. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Y'all, I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm a fan. I don't know. It's just, it's very, very strong. There's something about it that's very strong. I think I'm going to blow it out for now. Maybe it would be good for like sitting outside when I want a little vibe, you know? So I made an account for that new social platform called Lemonate. Kind of like Lemonade, but it's lemon and then the number eight. It's basically like carousel posts on Instagram, but like a platform dedicated to them, I think. So I'm trying to make a cute little, like I'm using my Procreate to make just cute little things. So like the first slide is gonna be this picture, it has the Trader Joe's logo in the hall. And then I have this one that says like, I love dips. And then I just did that one that says, unsure about it. <laughs> I'm just Sasha Hippie on there, just like my Instagram. If you happen to be on the app, I have no idea what it's about. I I don't know. I just saw some people making accounts on a new app and I wanted to secure my username just in case. And I'm gonna try to post on it. Here's the next one with Aria smelling all of my unexpected cheddar cheeses. It's just a bunch of hearts and then it says yes and then it says baby for Aria. Oh, you can see my messy office behind me. I'm gonna try these two. I think my post is coming out really cute. Mm. I know. So many gnats. I love like documenting this time of year because I feel like literally just a week from now, it'll probably look even more green on this walk. May is always the craziest, like the first week versus the last week of May. If you can see them. I don't think they even show up on camera. Oh, now you can see them. Ooh. <laughs> Good morning. I'm gonna try this garden vegetable hash and make some breakfast with it. I need to pack some orders after this, so I'll probably do that. What else? Where's my phone? I have a whole to-do list going of things I need to do this week. But I know for <laughs> my hair is just brushed back, like when your dad would brush your hair after the shower and he doesn't put a part in it, he just brushes it all the way back. Also, my spot focus is on. Turn off. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I need to pack those orders and drop them off at the post office. I have just like an invoice I need to fill out and send that'll take me literally like 15 minutes. I have a reel for a sponsored post on the Sounds To Be page that I need to film, edit, and post. I already, it's like just the time to do it. I already know what I'm gonna do and it's not gonna be difficult at all, but I just need to do it, you know? And then I really want to do some editing. <laughs> so hopefully I can get some of that done today the editing. Everything else I'll easily be able to get done. What am I doing? I want this. That's probably more than enough, honestly. <laughs> Adds more. <laughs> That's more than enough. <laughs> Continues to add it. Because I'm just making like a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, That's, oh my gosh. That's more than enough for sure. Okay, let me cut my bagel while well, that is sauteing. I'm sure it would be delicious just sauteed and eaten as a side too. What was I doing? Bagel. <laughs> oh, let me throw a little salt and pepper on there too. The best part about eating in the morning means that I can have caffeine after. I have to say, implementing that rule of food and water before caffeine has been life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. It's like unreal how much better I feel. Like obviously, of course I do, but like <laughs> It took a while for me to get here for some reason. Mmm, it smells so good. I 
never have milk in my house. I just have Brennan's half and half. So I add a splash of that to my scrambled eggs. Mmm. I have a question. When you're making scrambled eggs with cheese, do you add the cheese to your egg mixture before it's cooked, or do you just put the cheese on top afterwards? I always just put it on top afterwards for the most part. I'm curious how other people do it. I forgot to start filming again when I did this, but I just gathered all the hash in the center, poured the egg over it, and then I pretty much just made like an omelet. Like I folded it in half and then folded it in half again. And then I'm gonna put this on the bagel. And I put the cheese, um, I sprinkled that over the top too. When, like before I folded it. See how this goes. I feel like that's good. I'm just waiting for the bagel. I should have started it like a minute or two earlier, but that's okay. I just don't want this to burn. I hate when eggs burn. It bothers me so much. So, I'm just gonna throw this. Actually, wait, this is the bottom. I can do that. And I'm like, that kind of worked. Yeah, that totally worked. And I'm just gonna put, ooh, the melted cheese looks so good. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Like I, feel, I don't want it like dripping. But I want a little bit in there. Do I want to cut it in half? Probably, right? Oh my goodness. Mm, <laughs> this is going to be difficult. <laughs> Maybe I don't cut it. I don't know. Ah, I'm overwhelmed. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so hot. Delicious, though. Yum. So something that I really like to do in my living room, which, I don't know, it might just be kind of silly, but I like to take this cushion and put it here so that I can be closer to the window. And get some fresh air and then I just sit like this and I'll like work on my laptop and have just I'll be like I'm not that much closer to the window but I don't know I just like it sometimes when it's really windy she'll be like <laughs> like trying to dodge the wind <laughs> y'all there's a lo-fi boy now it's like synth wave music has anyone been following <laughs> the the lo-fi girl lore that's been happening this week <laughs> I don't know why I'm really liking this like high angle right now, but this is my my next project. Brendan is dropping off all of the orders at the post office for me right now, which I greatly appreciate. I bought this thingy to go under here, so I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to put in there, but I just thought it would be good because I can store stuff in here and then have stuff like on top as well. Of course, Miss Sansa needs to see what's going on. Let's just, I guess, take everything out for the most part. Oh, this thing that's like an electric toothbrush, but it's for cleaning. <laughs> Sansa, I'm sorry. Wow, look at that difference. Ma'am, I still don't want you in there though, because there's all chemicals. Excuse me, we're gonna close this, pardon me. Sorry, excuse me. It's pretty windy, but I got the gazebo roof back on. I did it myself, so, well, Brendan kind of helped, but it, it's hard for anyone to really help because the way that ours works, you have to like unscrew things over here and then you have to like line up these holes with the screw and then screw it back in and it was just like a whole thing. So I, I did it like 99% on my own. There was, I think this was the last one and Brendan kind of like, hold the fabric so it was a little easier for me to like line up the holes and get the screw in there and stuff but so exciting I can't wait to hang out here this week hopefully I can do a little outdoor stream and then I set up the other privacy panel here too just so I, I film out here a lot so just having some privacy I love my neighbors but just having some privacy for filming is very nice and I can enclose it like entirely if I want to like this can kind of like wrap around the corner and then connect with the other half I grabbed my famous little red wood carved mushroom out of the shed and I'm gonna get my greenhouse set up either tomorrow or Thursday maybe I could do that on oh, I should do that on stream tomorrow that would be so much fun Oh my god, did you hear that? Someone, they must have been on a motorcycle because it was really, really loud. But someone was listening to Have You Ever Seen the Rain as they were driving by. And I don't know if that's on my playlist. So I have a playlist on Spotify called Songs I Can Hear Other People Blast While Driving By My House. 
I'm curious if this one has been added yet. Nope, yay, we got a new addition. There's 62 songs on that playlist now. I think I'm gonna work from the kitchen table today. My hard drive is in here, which I need for editing. And then I think there might be stuff imported already. I don't know. I have some stuff for the Sounds Tippy channel, but I really, I wanna get stuff out on this channel. Hello. It's the next day. I think I'm going to end this vlog off because I really want to start a new one. Today and tomorrow are going to be close to 90 degrees, which is insane for April in New England. So I thought it would be fun to do just like a vlog of those two days. And I feel like this vlog is getting pretty long anyways. So I'm going to end this off. I will have my socials links down below. I post a bunch to my Instagram story, which is Sasha Hippie, if you want to follow me on there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye, friends.